In this video, we're going to be looking at distance versus time graphs. This video has been made for NCA Level 1 Science in the Mechanics section. And during this, I'm going to be referring to this flashcard here. You can get yourself a free complete set from sciencegribe.co.nz. Now, let's say I want to track the motion of a vehicle, a 900 kilogram car, using a distance time graph. If I have a horizontal flat line, that tells me that the car isn't moving, because if it's not moving, it means that its distance isn't increasing and the distance isn't decreasing. It's staying the same for however long it wants to. It's not moving. Flat line, not moving. If I have a straight line which has some steepness to it, then that means that there is some constant speed for that vehicle. Now, remember, if it's got a constant speed, it means that its distance is going to be increasing or decreasing at a steady rate. It means that if you have a constant speed, there's no change in speed. There's no change in velocity. And because there's no change in speed or velocity, it means that the object, it means that this car isn't actually accelerating. Now, if there's no acceleration, it means there's zero acceleration, which means there's zero net force. Because if there's zero acceleration, then it means that for this formula, F equals ma, the value for a is going to be zero. Anything times zero comes out as zero. So in this case, F would actually work out to be zero. Now let's say in the last part of the graph, I'm going to have a bit that's curved. Now at the first part of the curve, it's going to be really fast. Then it's going to get um, a little bit slower. And then at the very end, it's going to be at its slowest point. So what I have here is non-constant speed. Curved lines refer to non-constant speed. Now if I've got a non-constant speed, then what that means is that there is a change in speed. And if there is a change in speed, it means that there must be an acceleration. And if there is an acceleration, it must mean that there is a net force because, hey, F equals MA, if I've got a 900 kilogram car for mass and I have an acceleration, that means the value for A isn't going to be zero, which means that 900 times whatever number that's not zero, I'm going to get a number that comes out for the value of F, which means that there must be a net force.